we're back. Um, I think we've unlocked a form of fast travel. So I want to go see about unlocking those. Oh, wait. I left the game running and I'm running out of stamina. What happens if you run completely out of stamina? Like if I had just sat here for a couple hours with the game running, what would happen to my character? Would I just not be able to walk anymore? Let's go to the Endless Realm. No thank you, Mothra. Why is that up there? Can't even reach that. Everything wants to kill me. Everything wants to kill me. Is this back the way we came? Yeah, this way. Okay. So that's that one. The other one must be like right there. We'll have to try that next. Take my passport. Dragon? Dragon friend? Dragon friend! You're an endless. The woman who approaches you is half rotted. One eye is milk white and the other is missing. The pearly whites of her jawbone is visible through the ragged skin. 
Careful there, breather. That was a big one. You hurt? What was that? A little tremor, that's all. They've been getting more common recently. You should watch your step, though. That quake will have riled up the catacomb worms something fierce. Nasty buggers. They burrow, they fly, they eat people. Just stay away from them. That's my advice. Anyways, you're clearly new here, and I've got some time to kill. Is there anything you want to know? Well, you're entering the lands of the Endless. Our island of tombs has been drifting around the Sky Realms ever, uh, since before the world rend. Even before... Even before even those damned Timberians. There's two evens there. Uh, ferrymen, rest their souls. Uh -huh. You'll find the town of Sepulcher up ahead, but careful on your feet, breather. There's been a whole bunch of tremors lately. Honestly, not much is in Sepulcher. Most of us endless live in the mausoleums, but you can rent a room in the Rodden Coffin and there's places to trade. Looming over Sepulcher is the Castle of Ribs, where the Queen resides, and just past town is a flesh farm. Did you say flesh farm? That's right, breather. Us endless need to feast on living flesh, else we get all foggy. Years back, we led the cadaver crusades, taking the living by force. But Penitent Thal came up with a much better idea. The flesh farm is a bunch of huge vats growing mindless meat. Much more humane than eating raw human. It gets a bit tiring when your lunch is always screaming at you for mercy. Who is Penitent Thal? A mage who lives in the Thanktum overlooking the flesh farm. You can see it on the in on that. Uh, you can see it up on that ridge to the north. She's the youngest of the endless, only two centuries old, practically a whippersnapper. Anything else you want to know about this place? Ghost friend. Can you smell it, stranger? That rancid stench on the wind? The endless realm is trapped in a perpetual decay, for everything here rots, but nothing ever dies. Its people huddle in underground tomb cities, sealing their frail bodies from the outside while they indulge in nostalgic reverie. They have achieved what many mortals lust for, a life unending. But is such a wretched existence preferable to death? Tell me, stranger. If those Union scholars are right, is there not uh, afterlife but a dreamless sleep? Does that nothingness negate what came before? Is our existence rendered pointless by impending oblivion? Brevity is beautiful. Eternal life would be torture. Many of the endless would share your sentiment after being prisoners of their body for so long. It is said that even those endless who are cut to pieces are still conscious. I have no doubt that after enough time, we'd all beg for nothingness. Just gonna come over here and rob the dead. Don't mind me. Uh, Crystal Mines, City of Sepulchre, Sepulchre. Fine ore. Uh, we need three of those.
I've got the lockpicks to go on, right? We don't have any threads. Alright. Are you friends? Well, you're not enemies. That's okay. Do you need a key? You need a key. What are you? Door needs a key. Realize you are an enemy. <laughs> Gonna say, not a big fan of the spot. I suppose it was a little bit of me, uh, it was a little bit reckless of me to jump over that. I just figured that they were numb, uh, hostiles, like the other one. What a wretched place, eh? Even the trees barely cling to life. I cannot fathom why I was sent here of all places to make this damned map. Why must we chart these aisles? Does the academy plan to start grave digging? There's naught else to do. Excellent. Yes, these will do nicely. The detail here is impressive for one of your limited experience. Please take this as recompense. You're in the endless realm, a god's forsaken place. Sometimes before the world ran, this was just another Skyrim's backwater, until their monarch botched, botched some spell and turned everyone into walking corpses. For a long time, the endless were at war with the living. I'm sure you've heard of the old rhymes about the cadaver crusades. Those weren't just old wives' tales. The endless really did used to eat people. 
The times have changed. The endless say they've mended their ways and only eat mindless meat, whatever that is. Still, just because we're tolerated here doesn't mean we have to like this place. The first person I met here, I swear I heard their stomach growl. First chance I get, I'm going back to the academy. City of Sepulcher, Cadaver Keep, Mausoleum. Flesh Farms, Cadaver Keep. Friend, greetings, delicious flesh thing. By enchantment, I am required to grant you assistance instead of peeling the meat from your bones. This town is sepulchre. Few live here now, as many endless have retreated to the comforting gloom of the mausoleums. At noon, when the neuron star is bright, some of the endless uh, bar their doors and retreat to their coffins. Light hurts their feeble eyes. What places can I visit? Queen of Silver resides in the Castle of Ribs at the top of the sepulchre. Though she will not be interested in the weakness of your mortal flesh. Rodden Coffin will serve your kind with beverages and bedding. It's in the center of town. There's also a shop with trinkets you might find useful. The Moldy Cauldron. It's closed at noon. Alright then. Pass for sale. Ah, breather. Welcome to the Moldy Cauldron. You're my first living customer in months. Or has it been years? Time flies when you're my age. Ah, yes. Everyone's heard of the Duchess. Only I don't think anyone's seen her in years. Last I heard, she was flying around with that crazy bunch of breathers. What were they called? The dull stars? The dim lights? Anyway, her family manor is to the south. If you're looking for her, I'd head there. But I hear the place is crawling with magical skeletons, so be careful. Uh, shroom wine, so we can grab that and take that back to, uh, what was it? Dangling earring in the shape of a skull, carved from a piece of real bone. This macabre accessory grants power over the dead, allowing its wearer to summon an additional skeleton battle. Uh, we can sell this glorious treasure. And then we can buy this house deed. Uh, purchase a home in Sepulchre. Then we can upgrade the property.
Hmm. As I live and rot, an honest to God's breather, we don't get many of you passing through Sepulchre these days. Welcome to the Rotten Coffin. We've got a bed to rent, the only genuine mattress in all the tombs of the Endless. We also got ghost booze. I saw that there was a, um... I saw that there was an achievement for getting too drunk. I wonder if we should do that at some point. What are you? Aha! A mortal traveler. Unusual to see one of your kind within the realm of the Endless. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Castle of Ribs. Pray tell, my friend, what brings you to our kingdom. Insatiable curiosity. Aha! I am familiar with the drive to discover that raw and bidden need to know what lies beyond the horizon. I traveled a little in my own youth, you know, some many hundreds of years ago when I had a beating heart. The sky realms were very different then, let me tell you. Well, this was only a century after the world rend. Everything was in a state of flux. Every day, new kingdoms were blossoming and dying like winter roses. Tell me about the wonders. Why, of course, have you ever seen a god? I saw one once, drifting through the fog, as vast as a mountain, dozens of eyes, each as bright and round as the moon. When I saw it, I opened my mouth, and the most beautiful hymns spilled out. I can't sing under normal circum circumstances, but my voice was like honey and thunder that day. Tell me about the horrors. I would rather not recall such things, but I... I saw an entire town consumed in silver flames while laughing priests circled above like vultures. I saw a conscriptor harvester pulling screaming men into its maw and turning them into mindless engines of war. I saw a library whale pulled slowly apart by iron hooks and butcher archivists scrabbling through its guts for forgotten tomes. Can you remember what caused the world rend? I never knew what caused it. But I remember the searing flash that stained the, si the sky. I remember the impact which shook our tombs and scattered the islands. Back then, the Endless were one of the few people in the Sky Realms. It got a lot more crowded after that with all the refugees. Alas, the Queen isn't accepting visitors at this time, or at any time really. She is withdrawn. Most days she will speak to me and me alone. Per perhaps I can put her in a better mood. I doubt it, but I suppose I have nothing to lose by letting you try. Go ahead, if you can raise her out of her depression, I will be, without exaggeration, eternally grateful. As the Queen casts her guise upon her... As the Queen casts her gaze upon you, you are overcome with wave of melancholy so profound it almost drives you to your knees. Oh. Hello. I am afraid I am not receiving visitors at the moment. Please talk to my seneschal. He will attend to you faithfully. What seems to be the matter, your majesty? Your majesty? It is not of your concern, mortal. Please understand that I mean no disrespect, but one so young, so alive, cannot understand my plight. I haven't been surprised in two centuries, mortal. I believe it is my father. After the ritual to grant him immortality went wrong, he fled beneath the castle and got lost within the twisting passages. You are welcome to try. I believe my seneschal has the key, but I don't expect you to succeed. I have reason to believe that the Entombed One is a lingering specter of the Hooded Kings, getting his revenge on the kingdom that left him for dead. Someone needs to find him and persuade him to abandon his vedetta by force if necessary. You would do that? I would be in your debt. Here, take this. It's the key to the crypt beneath the castle. The Entombed One is somewhere, somewhere down there. So it's down there somewhere? We still haven't gotten the airship, so we don't have to do that. Uh, let's go rest in our house. Uh, we can't do this. I 
can't do this either. Oh, well, there's not a bed in here, is there? That's inconvenient. We don't have the money to do any of this. All right. Hi there. Ah, the rotten coffin, my favorite haunt. <laughs> On Remembrance by Chirius, twelve seventy eight. When I was just ten and two uh when I was just ten and two years of age, while exploring the forest of Verdant, my brother and I stumbled upon a clearing full of fleeting starlights, that long extinct flower that bloomed just once a year. My brother stood smiling among, the, among those flowers. In one smooth motion they rippled around him, each unfurling their petal in some ancient rhythm. Tiny droplets emitting a pale white light drifted upward like frozen tears. For a moment, the whole forest seemed to be full of them, glittering in union, reflected in my brother's eyes. But this memory, like so many mores, is little more than a dream. I can recount, recount colorful prose, but further details escape me. What was the color of my brother's hair? What did his face really look like? What was his name? For all of us, endless verdant exists in this dream state. We fill our memoirs with elegant prose, but we argue over the details. It has been hundreds of years since our lungs could swell with that sweet air. And between then and now, between Verdant and the realm of the Endless, there is trauma that stains our minds like spilled ink. I can re recall another memory of my brother. I see his face covered in blood. I see his mouth locked in a silent scream. I see raging fires reflected in his eyes, for that was the day I devoured his still living body. If Verdant is our dream, the years of devouring are our nightmare. Though we stage plays and write novels of what happened then, few speak of our personal guilt. That hunger, that rage, that blood mist. The remembrance comes to us in pangs of sorrow. But there are yet others who deny its tragedy, who justify their hungers and their deeds with flimsy arguments. Those, would those who would revive the cadaver crusades and see us feast upon flesh once more. Those who have allowed themselves to forget. Sir Reader, I beseech you, I do not languish in the sweetness of your dreams if you are not willing to recall the horrors of your nightmares. We all carry a burden of guilt. To deny it is to relinquish the last shred of our humanity, and then we are truly lost. That's the flesh farms. Uh, ow, there is fall damage. Okay. We just haven't fallen far enough. Are you enemy? Yep. The door smiles and extends its fangs. Only those loyal to the king may pass. 
The door sinks its fangs into your wrists. It drinks and drinks and drinks until your legs feel weak and your arm is numb. Finally, it releases you. Your blood is tainted by treachery. You may not pass. That's inconvenient. Way south. We already did this. get back up there. Take that. This is southward, though not exactly south. Hi. Please let me let me up. Let me up. Uh, I can't get up. Why can't I get up? I just want that ore. There we go. Iron ore. Thank you. No more lockpicks. Okay. Uh, Mausoleum 7, Rider Estate. Money, 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 money. Academy portal is now active. So now we can travel to the academy and back. treasure. His voice rings from behind his golden mask like a freshly stuck bell. 
Abase thyself, mortal, the stand, you stand before Lord Ryder, champion of Black Trenches, first over the abyss of Mansacor's fall, destroyer of the Treberian fleet. Give me a reason why I shouldn't render you into carrion. You have five words to argue a case. Once upon a time, little maggot, you and I would have only met on the battlefield for the briefest, bloodiest moments. Be gone from my sight. This is going to sound strange, but I need a sample of your blood. Let's open this up. the crystal. Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> Guys, that guy was cheating. You saw it. I've got it on tape. Embrace a delusion. Let's get more persona. Lockbug. This lockbug will weaken the lock's mechanism, making locks easier to pick. While the lockbug species is known for its love of intricate environments, this one has a head cipher etched into its carapace to make it a thief's best friend. Is that just a passive buff forever? Urn of Anguish. This urn is deathly cold to the touch. It's sealed. Uh, tight. An inscription reads, Here are the ashes of untold numbers of endless who were burned by the living in the years of devouring. May the gods have mercy on us all. Where? Oh. That's not fair. Is that all that's here? Is 
southern edge of the endless realm. Even further south? Uh, that's definitely going to give me fall damage. How do I get down there? I feel like I'm playing Elden Ring again. How do I get down there? Where's my horse? My kingdom for a horse. It would be just my luck to get my first death from just falling to my death. They do say that gravity is the worst boss in the Souls games. been through here. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Yeah, I mean, he saw me. It was on this hill that the last defenders fell. Oh, how the endless swarmed upon them. How they feasted upon flesh and blood. I still see it, mortal. I can smell the sickly sweet stench of death. I can feel the cold chill of death upon my phantom skin. This is a place of remembrance. If you have not come here out of respect, I must ask you to leave. As a young mortal, you cannot hope to fully comprehend what happened here. For that reason, I must keep the tomb sealed.
Buried guilt by Vleklum. Ether spurred the gelatinous flank of his steed, but to no avail. The creature still floated at the same sluggish pace, its tentacles trailing through the grass. He had no idea where Lord Ardead had found such a creature, but it was a little better than a silk slug. It swayed with, at an erratic pace that made Ether's armor shift and chafe against his ancient skin. His body was always wracked with an assortment of pains and aches. Such was the fate of being endless, but this constant irritation caused chunks of his flesh to come away when he itched. Flesh that would never grow back. As either crossed a waybridge, he glanced below. Miles downward, past floating islands and drifting clouds, he saw clusters of artificial lights throbbing and pulsing in the gloom of the world's surface. For this story, dear reader, takes place at the first cadaver crusade, when Iberian City still thrived. Ether's steed had stopped. He looked up to see a humble dwelling, not a few decades old. Smoke rose from its chimney, betraying its immortal inhabitants. Lord Ardead would be pleased. He dismounted and drew his sword. Though his stomach growled, he would not feed today. Fresh meat was to be procured and returned to the war party. Rations were then distributed fairly. That said, Ether had long suspected that his lord liked to keep his troops hungry, to cloud their judgment and foster their rage. The door buckled behind his weight easy enough. A boy stood before him, bewildered. Ether's sword slid gently between the boy's ribs and he crumpled to the floor. Somewhere a woman screamed, a familiar sound of late. An old man burst forth and impaled Ether with a spear. This was somewhat irritating as his chest was already so full of holes that it whistled in strong winds. Ether grabbed a man by the throat and raised his sword to strike. Uh, you spelled Ether differently there. So here it's with a U. Here it's with an E. But something stopped Ether. As he looked at the man, he felt a stirring inside of him. Something about those eyes. It was like looking into a cloudy mirror. Could it be? The old man had stopped struggling against Ether's grip, for the same distant recollection had dawned upon his, him as well. The old man swallowed his st The old man swallowed, stuttered, then croaked. Father? Ether's grip released. Ether's grip relaxed. He dropped the man. He dropped his sword. A horror engulfed him, the first glimmer of true emotion he had felt in a long time. Before he knew what was happening, the woman had picked up the sword and chopped off his head. The world rushed to meet him with a thud. He lay there, blinking slowly as his family hacked his body into pieces. They buried Ether in the garden in a gesture of undeserved respect. He kept his face motionless, so they thought he, him truly dead. He was too cowardly to do otherwise. It was a shallow grave and sounds of the forest filtered down to him. When the guilt and shame subsided, he felt a kind of peace. Being so close to those he once loved, family, son, he mouthed the words in the dirt to an audience of worms and insects. But one day, or night, he knew not, he woke from his mindless super to the sound of flames and screams. He listened to the cries, the carnage, the terror, but the silence that followed was worse. Then, voices, movement, a dazzling light. He was pulled from the dirt by his hair, held aloft by the grip of Lord Ardead himself. The bastard's grin was a gash that spread from ear to ear. Well, well, he said. What have we found here? Ether looked past his lord to the smoldering house in the distance. Three fresh corpses were lit lined neatly in a row. Uh, this area is quite inconvenient. Um, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. It seems like we need to get better charm stats. Jaws, nails, teeth, tearing, bursting, clawing at your flesh. Can you feel it? Oh, the agony. You're safe. Nothing is attacking you. You are mistaken. Six endless feet on... Six endless feast on my flesh they have done for hundreds of years. I am aware they exist only in my mind, but does anything exist outside of mind? For me, they are real. Say, mortal, do you want to know a secret? See those cliffs over there? They hide a graveyard, buried deep underground, one of many. A spell of illusion conceals the entrance. De during the Great Devouring, the Endless gave in to their hunger, but they held on to their remorse, their shame. So they buried their victims far out of sight. My body lies behind those cliffs, somewhere. Um... Uh, 
uh, have the truth revealed to you. It is these cliffs, right? something over there. Uh, this was not where I wanted to go. Running out of insight. Silk thread, a sturdy silk produced by the ubiquitous silk slug, can be used to upgrade a variety of clothing. Despite being soft to the touch, the thread is remarkably durable. Do you mean down here? There's something over here. Or I'll take it. from the other side. Pegath, that was the one that we needed the uh, shroom wine for. What is this? do this. Resident scratches as at the painful crystalline growth which protrudes from his left eye. I just want this nightmare to end. What happened? I can feel it in my face. She's inside me, crawling out. There's a woman inside of you? Pieces of many people together. She's filling my face up with sharp corners. Stay out of the mind. She wants to grow. I just want this nightmare to end. We 
It's weird coming off of the um, the rope bridges because they sink down and you don't get a smooth dismount. Where do you go? Go up. The shutters won't budge. This must be activated elsewhere. This is a sacred place. You shouldn't be here. My siblings will kill you. You'd better leave. She knows what you are and what you intend to do here. Mines? Have you been blinded by a dark curse? These are not mines. They are more akin to the inside of a fertile egg. You'd better leave. Or right, from the other side? No, sealed by a uh, device. I see you. Die, please. Thank you. Stop giving me those. I'm full. I can't take any more lockpicks. Take as many health pots as you want to give me, though. Something has changed. Really? Glorious silk. Is that what I need to upgrade my, um, my clothing? I'll take that. Now you can give me lockpicks. Fine or Did I skip a level? Is that what is happening here? Should I be going to the um the other place? Clockwork Kingdom.
Serpentine, serpentine. Silk. Stamina potion. This reminds me of the Crystal Caverns from Hollow Knight. In a good way. Sealed by a device. How come sometimes I can carry more lockpicks than I usually can? Is it just getting them in a set? Poison. Deadly poison that can be applied to weapons. Ammunition. Sealed by an unseen device. Um, fine sword. Yeah, I think that I've skipped a thing because I think that upgrade any piece piece of clothing. I think that I should have the um the basic silk before I get the fine silk and the glorious silk. Seekers. Well, I don't know if they're specifically heat seekers, but they're arm seekers. Hi there. Thank you for freeing me. I thought I was done for. 
I am Inquisitor MCC XVII of the Apostatic Union. What is M? Is that 700 and... One thousand two hundred. What's that? Give me a second. I'm gonna look up some Roman numerals. Twelve seventeen. I am Inquisitor Twelve Seventeen of the Apostolic Union. At your service. There were four of us sent to investigate the possible C -cla uh, Class C God entity, but I was separated from the rest of the tribunal and taken prisoner. I'm not sure what became of my comrades. We weren't able to nullify the God entity. Our quest was a resounding failure. Yes, perfect. Take this. It's a terminus prism. It can kill a god entity like this one. You can set this whole mess right. I'm afraid they took everything when I was captured. Besides, I still need to get myself out of here. Only a fledgling god entity is like this one, which are undergoing apotheosis. The prism has no effect on Elder God. Uh, before we were separated, my tribunal determined that the crystal entity is currently in an advanced stage of apotheosis. At this stage, a god entity is still malleable to the imagination of its followers. That's how the prism kills the entity. You can set this whole mess right. I... Uh, did not think that that would count, but okay. Fine or What am I wearing? Okay. So yeah. Is that really the, all that's down here? Seems like it, okay. That's a skull. I thought it was a head for a second. This door was locked. The door is locked. That's nothing. This was the other path. Turn around, don't turn around. Huh? 
astounding. Everything is being made clear now. How marvelous. I can see it. A body amalgamate, abstract geometry and structure, perfect in its form, steeped in a sorrow beyond compare. The true form of the divine, the great continuum of all that is. Money. Where the hell am I going? I'll take that. Anything else over here? Don't see me, don't see me. I specifically asked you not to do that. Sometimes I hit the trigger, but nothing happens. And I don't know if that's like an input buffer my controller dying. goes around there. This goes down here. This is a long ass dungeon. So that's the way out. Uh, can I make that? Elixir of Luck, a concoction that makes the user slightly better at everything by boosting their attributes for a limited time. Used heavily by the criminal gangs of Slev, they call this elixir lucky, despite it being of mere, uh, more of a magical stimulant.
perhaps a strong blow would suffice. You need eight strength to break that door? What is this? I am the sculptor Lucia. The crystal goddess told me you'd come. You have to end this madness. Hell are you talking about, breather? Madness? You must be joking. Centuries in this godless land, toiling in the mines with no way to out, eating fake flesh like some kind of livestock. That's madness. The bloody crusades, that was madness. As a young girl, I was trained to be a sculptor. Before the crusades, I became a miner to survive. The dreams that died back then never disappeared. I carried that rotten weight. Every, in every endless knows the experience. That's why she came to us. You'd wither to call it madness if you knew. I was the first to hear it through, uh, through the rock walls. Biggest pocket of the crystal, of pure crystal any of us had ever seen. I knew the shape she needed to take. It felt like I was born with it in me. So I start, started carving in secret. You stand beneath an intricate crystal statue. It exudes an unmistakable psychic weight. Remarkably crafted, the positioning of each arm and leg clearly carries deep meaning to the artist. The identical lower face peers out from between her legs as if being born. The word self-begotten floats through your mind. The longer you look, the more admiration you feel, not just for the artist and her achievement, but for the crystal goddess herself and then all the depths that she carries. You hold the terminus prism in your hand, but before raising it, you wonder, are you sure this is a choice you want to make? The goddess cannot be rebuilt. Um, is there a reason why I shouldn't just destroy the goddess? I feel like I want to destroy the goddess. The room seems to go totally silent, then a piercing noise resonates through the crystals. The statue begins to crumble. Picks. Was there a reason why I shouldn't have killed the goddess? It felt like that was an important choice, but it didn't really give me any reason not to destroy the goddess. Come on. Yep. I think it's just ore anyway. Where was that mirror? Just 
Actually, we don't even need the mirror. I don't know how I feel about that one. I feel like it should have been like a, an ideological choice. Like there should have been someone who said, yeah, the crystal, uh, the crystal uh, goddess will uh, bring about an end to the endless and allow us to finally die or something like that. And then somebody else would say, uh, crystal goddess is just like all the other gods all she wants is power or something like that oh enemies Oh, is this the other side of the thing? It's not. Run of anguish. Rusty greatsword. Death's Veil. We have a bunch of shit to turn in. This is kind of why fast travel would have been better from the start. We still haven't found the Endless Duchess. It's very cool that that was just a quest that we stumbled on.
tried looking for the graveyard and I did not see it. Let's rest up. Um, I'm looking for the Duchess. She's hard to pin down, few folks. She's holed up in her old family manor that sits at the on the southern edge of the Endless Realm. Good luck arranging a visit. She's a powerful cipher wizard and has a whole host of magical countermeasures. Stop common plebs like us from wandering around her grounds. All right. I might have to go back to that other... Um, the Clockwork Kingdom and see if I can do anything there. Because I think that I just need to be a higher level to do stuff here. also try to get that bridge down before I leave. Change the picture. Can't mess with any of this stuff. Hmm. So 
like there should be one over here as well. But I don't see it. Mausoleum 9, Cadaver Keep, Flush Farms. Please visit the esteemed Penitent Thaw for inquiries. You guys want to see where they make the flush? When he turns to you, you can see his eyes are obscured by two large golden coins. He lifts one of them and appraises you swiftly before dropping back into place. Don't get too many like yourself around here, Life Lubba. Can't remember the last time I saw a person with their own nose. Taps his own hollowed out nostrils. An earthworm screams within. What are you doing here? Why, well, I'm tending to the flesh farm, of course. Someone got to. All this flesh ain't gonna look after itself. Ask away, life flubba. Are you still loyal to the Hood King? I barely remember the fella. No, sorry, I wouldn't call myself loyal to him. A rotted woman advances towards you, her robes trailing along the ground. Nearby is a floating cage, inha inhabited by a twitching, gibbering corpse. The cage drifts closer to you, gaining momentum. Hang on. Stand right there. Don't move a muscle. The cage corpse opens the mouth and begins to sing a giddy melody. Your shadow lifts from the ground and wraps itself around your knees, here, uh, bearing you down to the floor. Why have you come here? Are you an assassin? A thief? A rival mage? Seeking to steal my secrets? My familiar has cast a spell to keep you from doing anything that you might regret. Now answer my questions. My name is Penitent Thaw. Some call me the greatest living mage in the Sky Realms. Personally, I'm not sure if I'm truly alive, but the rest of it is right. So you better answer my question carefully. Are you an assassin, a thief, a rival mage? I'm chasing someone from the Dark Star Company. Dark Star, eh? I take it you're after Vela Kalos. You know her? Only by reputation. Unlike the rest of the Endless, I actually make an effort to keep up with the affairs of the outside world. So are you chasing the most dangerous mercenary in all the Sky Realms, exactly? I've been forced into it by the Inquisition. Interesting. They must be... They must be desperate indeed to be trying to get a pawn like you to be the end of the board. She makes a dismissive motion with her hands, and suddenly, as they came, the shadows recede, leaving you free to stand up. Go on, go on, but make it quick. I'm growing bored. Before my time, when I arrived in the Kingdom of the Endless, the king had already been missing for a century. Why do you ask? The magic dwarves asked me for loyal blood. Hmm, is that all? If you don't mind waiting a bit, I'm sure I could whip up a convincing sample of counterbit loyalty. After some time, the mixture is complete. She hands you a bottle of sloshing red liquid. Here you go, blood of convincing loyalty. Should pass muster under all the but the most rigorous of spells. Thank you. Be gone. All right, so that opens that door. We still need to do Pegath.
Ow. You guys are still alive, huh? Well, alive. Satisfactory, you may pass. All hell, the Hood King. She floats above you, imperious, furious, bristling with disdain. She resemble resembles the Queen of Silver, but a flame within her light. Hello, mortal. Better. Now tell me, who is it who dares trespass within my domain? Expected to find the Hooded King down here. My father? My fool of a father? You found him? There lies the Hooded King, the man who sacrificed his daughter for immortality. You should have seen him squirm and weep. My kingdom rots. Soon I will destroy this entire island, along with all my subjects. I will end this wretched curse and finally grant my subjects the eternal peace they crave. You're the ghost of Queen Silver. Uh, the you're the ghost of the Queen of Silver, an echo of her trauma. I was born when she walked herself into Quicksilver and drowned at the bidding of her father. I am her bitterness, her resentment, her rage. How is a ghost powerful enough to do all this? Anger has its own power, mortal, and my anger is endless. How can I persuade you not to do this? You cannot. I am as inevitable as death itself. Someone needs to give this kingdom a good shaking. I am weakening the island's foundation. Soon it will shatter. There are thousands of rotting men and women out there, ravaged by hunger and pain, huddled within mausoleums and waiting for death. They are calling for my mercy. I can hear them in my heart, begging to be freed from their su suffering. All right. Um, I will take that. I will take that. Um, what does it want from us? After a long and wearisome journey, I'm finally here. The ancient kingdoms of Verdant, now twisted by cruel cipher into the land of the endless. But it seems as though the rumors are true. They really do shut up shop when the neuron star is brightest in the sky. Alas, I was hoping to get a potion of blister of blister obliteration. My feet are killing me. Because it's closed at noon, that's right. Can I still use the bed? As the queen casts her gaze upon you, you are overcome with a wave of melancholy so profound it almost drives you to your knees. The entombed one is a ghost created by your sacrifice, your majesty. 
Yes, I know. You told me the Entombed One was your father. I was not lying. I see more of my father in that ghost than I see of myself. I last saw her two centuries ago when I took Penitent Thaw down there to become one of the Endless. Pen Penitent knew this too? She is the only other who, one who knows. It was unavoidable, the only way that I could grant her request to become an Endless. How can I persuade her not to destroy the kingdom? I can think of one thing. The queen places something in your palm, a Tobas necklace. The gemstone is inscribed with a complex sigil. This was the necklace I wore during the ritual. Perhaps it will remind her of the queen's purpose. Above all, is to serve the needs of the kingdom. Hello, mortal. See this necklace, your majesty? Do you remember why you sacrificed yourself in the first place? For a moment, the entombed one stares at the topaz necklace with something like yearning on her face. Then her eyes harden. She grabs the necklace from you and crushes the topaz to dust between two fingers. Sacrifice? Ha! A queen above thinks she can remind me of what it means to serve the kingdom? I am serving the kingdom. Far better than she ever did while sitting depressed in her throne room. The kingdom is begging, begging to be destroyed. Its people are miserable, and they call me to bring their long lives to an end. You're just another mad ghost in a kingdom that's full of them. Please, mortal, consider my side of the argument. I know I ask a lot. I ask for the destruction of an entire kingdom. But no new souls have been born here for centuries. No children. No youths. The only great changes to the status quo have been spurred on by mortals. First, Penitent Thaw, and now you. The Endless themselves are tired and bored and rotten. They hide inside mausoleums and do nothing, pretending to be dead. They hunger for mortal flesh, and if the flesh farms failed, they would resume their crusades in, in an instant. They lack the courage to end themselves, but they yearn for it. Listen to my plea, mortal. Help me destroy this cursed kingdom. You know there's still hope. There is no hope. There's only failure and stagnation. Uh, it really bothers me that a lot of the quests in this area are tied to charm. I really feel like if you're going for the Bethesda action RPG route, uh, where there's multiple solutions to every problem, that there should be... Uh, multiple solutions to every problem. So not just... Charm. Neat. I really like how Legend of Zelda the Sky Kingdom is. The Erudite Academy. Being able to see the entire map. 
It's very cool. So we want to go to the left. Oh, I'm sneaking. That's back that way. Go this way. Actually, let's set up a warp point at the uh, noggin. Just in case. the bell tower. The music just kind of cutting in and out there is funny. Got your offering. Yes, this is the vintage. Oh, he is most pleased. I hear his whispers in my ear. Take the symbol, go to the castle that lingers above these lands. Search beneath it for a cave, and with this symbol, you will be granted admission. Go now and bask in his glory. All right, this brings us out here. Um, that's definitely going to have fall damage. Have I not been here yet? Doesn't look like it. that. Uh, please stop loading. Oh. 
I already did you. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, what are we doing? Where are we going? Why are we here? up that way. Here's the cave. thread. I'll take it. Do I need another passport? Is this the right way? This is the right way. Do I need a passport? It's looking like I need a passport. Do not recognize the defeatist entity because it is defeatist excrescence. Because it is a defeatist ex excrescence of greed and privilege run by a cabal of fossilized sophists and jealous aristocrats. Exceptions are permitted only by specific order of the king. Petitions to its majesty may be submitted via the, Machi the machinist guild in Feropolis. Cross the bridge, follow the road, then ask someone else. I am not a border. I am a border guard, not a map maker. Clockwork Kingdom has closed its borders and visitors are strictly forbidden. Your, apost your apostatic union passport is no good here, scum. But perhaps there's someone who can sneak you inside. Try searching Hollishar's northeastern coastline for another route.
Oh, two for one. I'll take it. Ring of Spellcraft. This ring grants a chance of a critical cast momentarily boosting the uh, user's spell cast. Though an unreliable trinket, sudden surges and magical potential can make all the difference. There's more stuff over there. How do I unlock that? Tragedy of King Triswitch by Joan Toussaint, 1213. Though the bodies are buried, thus ending our war. Weep, weep for Triswitch, for none have lost more. So goes a rhyme from the War of the Weeping in the Middle Ages, a time before the world ran, before the golden age of the Iberians, a time when castles rose high and kings were bound to a patron god. King Triswitch ruled with a surface kingdom now lost. He was tied to, uh, by ceremony to Pegath, the god of growth and long life. Triswitch bore these gifts plainly. There are accounts that at the age of 100, he still bore the face of a man not 30 winters old. His kingdom flourished, each harvest more bountiful than last, and the people rejoiced. But any god contract bears a cost. In those early years, such burdens were subtle. Triswitch could not conceive an heir. He rolled in sadness, old in mind, young in body, and he outlived his wife. When his grief subsided, he adopted a daughter, a wharf, and Obeth. As she grew, it kindled a love in Triswitch like he had never known. In time, Obeth fell in love with a prince from a neighboring kingdom, and a magnificent marriage would forever uh, unite the two realms. The ceremony was exquisite, the vows poetic, but as the betrothed shared a gentle kiss, kiss crimson spilled forth. Their last breath was shared, and they both fell down dead, for the prince's patron's god was Elswin, a god of love, but also of war. This was not a marriage, but a declaration. The fields of Thwift were stained with blood. Neighboring kingdoms joined the conflict, and soon the whole continent was at war. Not before or since have so many, lives lo uh, have so many lost their lives, for it is said that every family and every realm knew grief. The Thus it was known as the War of Weeping. Pegath blessed the warriors of Thwif with strength, but his love was tainted with pain, and his warriors became monstrous. As the, war, as the war raged, kings and gods alike were slain until their kingdoms lost. On the dawn of the 60th summer, Thwif's last stronghold was besieged. Elswin stormed the castle keep herself and slew the bloated, monstrous form that Pegath had become, though some say an aspect of him escaped. What became of Triswitch, the old books did not say, though an old wives' tale persists. It was said on the moonlit fields of Thwif, a strange man could sometimes be seen. He would stumble forth, calling the name of Obeth, tears streaming from his youthful eyes. Not there. We still haven't seen our house on this aisle. There we go. 
Warrior Sock. Is there really nothing over here? Another mine. Thing is that now I'm over leveled for this area, so now I can just one shot everything. This is the way I was before. This is the way I was before. Sometimes it feels like there's some weird velocity thing with the jump, but I'm not sure if there is or not. It just feels like it. Don't want to jump that far. I think your uh, scream cut off in the middle there.
Health potion. Where did you come from? Take that. Or your silk. I'll take that. Okay, that takes us back. What is down here? Aside from a bunch of you guys. Was this all for fine ore? That's not cool. Find the path forward before I end this video. I'm back here. Stabby, stabby. <laughs>
Man dressed in elegant finery is grumbling over a weathered map. This thing is more useless than a bloated god corpse. Suddenly he notices you. Ah, you there. Perchance, could you help a humble merchant in this time of need? If I... If, uh... I, I have a sizable delivery of Skrysherm tea bound for the Clockwork Kingdom. Now, before you say it, I know, I know, the border crossing is locked up tight. But you see, I've been in contact with the only fellow around here who has an import permit for this bloody kingdom of cogs, or what have you. What was his name? Mika? Maka? Ah, it escapes me. But the point is, I can't bloody well find him, can I? This old map is all wrong. So if you've seen this chap, would you let me know? There'll be a coin in it for you. Sure, I'll let you know if I see him. You are most kind. In the meantime, I'll return to deciphering this blasted map. There's a godling down there. Gotcha. Godlet. Stabby, stabby. Back here again.
Skiff Dock, Clockwork Kingdom. Where? Can you give me a hint? Let me know where you think he is. This goes back to that house. It's got to be this way. You see a middle-aged man with patchy hair and thick mustaches tinkering with a sky scaff. His skin is weathered and somehow a pipe stays in his mouth even as he toils. Piss off, I'm working. A man who's working, not to be disturbed. Perhaps or perhaps not. It depends on how helpful you can be. Name is Mikhail, but my friends call me Misha. You and I, we are not friends, yet. For his sins, old Misha is the only independent skyscaler in the Oniark Isles with genuine cargo permit for the Clockwork Kingdom. Misha grew up there many years so he knows all the secret tricks to get your paperwork approved. But the Clockwork Kingdom is not an easy place to enter. Borders are closed. Visitors are jailed. So Misha's skills are in high demand. Current waiting time for new clients is about one year. You are very funny. Cargo, yes. People know. As I am sure a clever customer like you knows, entry to the Clockwork Kingdom is strictly forbidden. Of course, where there is a will, there is a way, hmm? Not with Misha, mind. Misha does everything above the board. But if we are speaking in, the in abstract, as philosophers do... If a traveler, much like you, were to give a sky sailor, much like Misha, a proper apostatic union passport, then perhaps, in theory, yes, arrangements could be made. Union passport is quite a prize inside the Clockwork Kingdom, useless for entering, but nowadays most people wish to exit, so, philosophically speaking, perhaps this would be a fair trade. Oh, gold? I am so impressed. I cannot get gold anywhere else. Misha has met many of your kind. You think everything is for sale. You even think you can buy love. You're no better than a wild beast sniffing corpses. Let's go back to that one thing. That one place. Uh, this way. I should have just bought this the last time I was here. Now let's go back to that place.
This is the right path. Pick up the cash. Misha, my old pal. Finally, we are having a serious conversation. Misha will make sure it finds a good owner. So, perhaps you are thinking, what if this dashing yet enigmatic sky sailor is just common crook? What if he takes my shiny passport and throws me overboard? Do not have so little faith in Misha. Show this authentic travel document to the royal factor in the city of Feropolis after we land. Good friend of Misha's. She will make you make sure you can cross uh, Gatebridge in future. If you wish to fly with Misha again, just find a skiff on either side and flash the passport. Upon Misha's life, you will have safe passage. Once you are inside the kingdom, Feropolis cannot be missed. Big city on the stilts, yes? Just outside the city gate, there is a checkpoint with guards. You will find her there, lounging in some fancy office. Official, is this your desire? Official means clerks, stamps, searches, and manacles. It is the rack, the strapado, the spell that makes your lungs burn like you're drowning until you betray every faith you have. Yes, Mish knows all about official. Are you ready for the voyages? We are leaving soon. Look at those birds. The underworld. Waterfall falling into nothing. Here so. Here. Thank you, Misha. Mikhail looks off toward the mountains with an unreadable expression, then shakes his head. Well, here we are, home should home, or what is left of it. Since Misha never goes inland, this is where we part. Misha will not ask your business, and it is best you do not tell. But if you wish to cross the gate bridge, speak to the royal factor. When you get to Feropolis, keep your head down and trust no one, understand? You do not wish to be tangled in machinist intrigue. 
Uh, sh sh uh, should be a checkpoint on the viaduct into the city. Find her there. Show me she's passport. Do not die. All right, I'm going to save here and in the video and go get some sleep. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.